Good day. Here we have a half-life question. And I wrote down the formula for you. So you can copy it down if you like, if you haven't memorized it yet. And um, so here we go. So 60 pounds of a radioactive substance were left in your cousin's garage by his neighbor as a friendly prank. Um, don't do this at home, of course. After three years, only 48 pounds of the same substance were left. Now, what is the half-life of the substance? So, here we're concerned. We want to find the half-life, and the half-life itself is this element here, the this big T. The little t is time. So, in this case, three years. And the initial amount is represented by a zero or a naught. And um, that is the 60 pounds that we started with. So after three years, you only have 48 pounds left. So here we go. So we have 48 equals 60 times half to the power of 3 over big T, the half life. And of course, we want to solve for this, for the big T. My first step will be to d divide both sides of the equation by 60. Okay, so we get 48 divided by 60. And uh, I guess I'll simplify that. I'll reduce that to uh, just 4 over 5, or 0 0.8. Okay, so 0 0.8 is equal to half. Um, just for aesthetic purposes, I'm going to rewrite the half as 0 0.5 to the power of 3 over big T. Now what I, what I can do, what I need to do is to solve for big T, is to log both sides of the equation. And why do I need to do this? Well, because then it can actually bring down the exponent and multiply it by the log, because that's a property of logarithms. So I have 3 over big T times the log of 0 0.5 equals the log of 0 0.8 on the left-hand side of the equation. Then since we want to isolate this, what I'll do is that I'll multiply both sides of the equation by t, or by big T. Right? So I have t over here, t over there, thereby canceling out the t over here. Now it's gone. So I have t times the log of 0 0.8 equals 3 log 0 0.5. And since we want to isolate the big T, I can divide both sides of the equation by 0 point, or log 0 0.8. So those go away, and we have t equals 3 times the log of half over the log of 0.8. And I'll plug those numbers into the calculator right now to evaluate the answer. And we get t equals 9.3 approximately. Great. So the half-life of this substance, of this radioactive substance, is 9.3 years. That's it.